House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. Let us pray. God, we come before you this afternoon in need of your wisdom, your guidance, and your presence. For there is much that must be handled, settled, and talked about in this auspicious place. So we ask, God, that you would give strength and respect and dignity and encouragement to each one who is represented here. For I am one of those that they represent. May we, their constituents, be people of prayer. We have trusted them to represent us, and now we ask that you would give us the wisdom to uphold them as they make difficult decisions that represent all of our state. God, give us uh, energy for long days. Uh, may they have compassion for long nights. And may you, Lord, above all, give strength when strength seems to be weak. We pray for our great nation, for our president, and we pray that all for all that is impacting us right now, may we trust that you will guide us in each and every step that we take. We ask this in your name, God. Amen. The chaplain for today is Pastor Laurel Bunker from Bethel University, St. Paul, Minnesota. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Clerk will take the roll.
quorum being present. Quorum is present. Clerk will read the journal from the previous day. <clears throat> journal of the House 90th session, 2017, 31st day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Thursday, March 16, 2017. There is no objection for the reading of the journal will be dispensed with and the journal will be approved as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Comparison reports. There's a copy of this order of business on each member's desk. If there's no objection, the motions will prevail. Hearing no objections, the motions prevail and the substitutions will be made. Reports of standing committees and divisions. A copy of this order of business has been placed on each member's desk. If there's no objection, these reports will be adopted. Hearing no objections, the reports are adopted. Second reading of House Files. Jeez. Second reading House File number 729. Second reading. Second reading House File 809. Second reading. Second reading 904. Second reading. Second reading 1001. Second reading. Second reading 1119. Second reading. Second reading 1245. Second reading. Second reading 1331. Second reading. Second reading 1394. Second reading. Second reading 1619. Second reading. Second reading 1840. Second reading. Second reading 1847. Second reading. Second reading. 2063. Second reading. Second reading 27, 2177. Second reading. Second reading 2245. Second reading. Second reading of Senate files. <clears throat> Second reading Senate file 151. Senate file 151. Second reading Senate file 662. Second reading. Introduction of bills. The following House files have been offered for an introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House files and give them their first reading. Introduction of first reading of House files 2449 through 2476. First reading, House files 2449 through 2476. Messages from the Senate. <clears throat> Message from the Senate. This is a David's motion. Mr. Speaker, I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following House file, herewith returned as amended by the Senate, in which amendments the concurrence of the House is re respectfully requested. House file number five, an act relating to insurance, and the message is signed Cal R. Ludeman, Secretary of the Senate. Davids moves that the House refuse to concur in the Senate amendments to House File Number 5 that the Speaker appoint a conference committee of five members of the House and that the House request that a like committee be appointed by the Senate to confer on the disagreeing votes of the two Houses. I recognize the member from Fillmore, Representative Davids. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, uh, that would be my motion. Uh, we're pretty close, but uh, we do need to go to conference. Any discussion to that? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Message from the Senate, Mr. Speaker. I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following Senate files herewith transmitted. Senate file numbers 562 and 1113, and the message is signed Cal R. Ludeman, Secretary of the Senate. First reading of Senate files. <clears throat> First reading of Senate file number 562, an act relating to human services. Peterson moved that Senate file number 562 and House file number 919, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for a comparison. Hearing no objections, no objection, so ordered. <clears throat> First reading, Senate file number 1113, an act relating to counties. Zerwas moved that Senate file number 1113 and House file number 1390, now in the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. Hearing no objections, so ordered. Hearing no objections, so ordered. Announcements by the Speaker. <clears throat> Announcement by the Speaker. The Speaker announces the appointment of the following members of the House to a conference committee on House File Number 5. Davids, Hoppy, Dean M., Schumacher, 
and Halverson. Motions and resolutions. There are copies of there are copies of non-controversial motions at the House desk and online. If there are no objections, we will take the actions on these motions first. Hearing no objections, the motions prevail. Motion at the desk. <clears throat> Rarick moved that House Law Number 630 be recalled from the Committee on State Government Finance and be re-referred to the Committee on Taxes. To your motion, Representative Rarick. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, members, House File 630 uh, deals with reimbursement for counties uh, for out-of-home um, placement for children uh, in, in regards with the ICWA Act. Um, when the revenue note came in, there was a, a no cost, so state uh, government finance does not need to hear it. So I'm asking to be re-referred to taxes. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. Opposed? Motions prevail. <clears throat> Hamilton moves that House File Number 747 be recalled from the Committee on Commerce and Regulatory Reform and be re-referred to the Committee on Health and Human Services Finance. To your motion, Representative Hamilton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, both chairs have been contacted, uh, and uh, I know of no opposition to this motion. House File 747 deals with prior authorization. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I ask for your support. Any discussion? Representative Slocum. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would just like to urge Democrats to, uh, and Republicans for that matter, to vote for this re-referral. I was amazed as the DFL lead on commerce when this bill was not allowed to be heard. I think that just any, I think anyone's bills should be vetted and that we didn't allow Representative Hamilton's bill to be vetted, I think is really uh, tragic and doesn't speak very well for us. And, and uh, so I would urge Democrats to please vote yay for this. Any further discussion to the Hamilton motion? Representative Lunen. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, too, uh, recommend a green vote on this. I think as we approach that phase of health care reform, where we're attacking the actual problem, which is the cost of health care, all ideas have to uh, be discussed and uh, uh, legitimately vetted out between all interested parties and all ideas considered. So please vote green. Representative Hamilton. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Speaker. And to the members of the body, I just want to stress I have a tremendous amount of respect for every chair of every committee, and uh, I consider the, uh, the chairman of the uh, Commerce Committee a dear friend also. And I have said a few things along the way that uh, um, I'd like to apologize. Uh, some of the language that I've used uh, over the course of time uh, can be a little bit harsh as well. And so I just want to stress to everybody that I've got a tremendous amount of respect for everybody that serves this body. Thank you. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the Hamilton motion signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motions prevail. Announcements. Representative Fabian. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, two, uh, three things. Members, uh, you've got a thing on your desk about the uh, uh, Soil and Water Conservation District gathering this evening at the uh, at the Embassy Suites. I encourage members to attend that. And then uh, GOP members of the Environment, Natural Resources, Policy and Finance Committee, we will huddle briefly after our caucus. And then, uh, I'm sure everybody knows that uh, the Roseau Class AA girls won the uh, state championship this weekend. Score of 75 to 64 over a mighty Sox Center team. They finished their season 32-0. Uh, they're the only the third team in state in Class AA history since 1997 uh, to have a perfect 32-0 and record. They had two players named uh, All-State, the Brovich sisters. And I just wanted to say congratulations to Coach uh, Kelsey Diedrichson and the team uh, for an outstanding season. Thank you, members. Representative Anderson S. 
Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Members, I just want to remind you of the Life Source event that is going to be taking place tomorrow in the Capitol Rotunda at 10 a.m. That's the kickoff of the festivities. If you're not familiar with Life Source, they are the entity that help in promoting organ donation here in the state of Minnesota, saving many, many lives throughout the state and helping people to live full and complete lives. So I encourage you to participate 10 a.m. tomorrow in the Capitol Rotunda. Thank you. Representative Anderson P. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Just wanted to let the body know that uh, proud grandpa, this Norwegian, had a St. Patrick's Day granddaughter born late in the evening Friday night. Mom and daughter are doing well and should be going home yet this afternoon. So thank you much. Great. Announcements. Any further announcements? Representative Pepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Republican members, we will caucus in room 112 immediately following session. Mr. Speaker, I move that when the House adjourns today, it adjourns until 3.30 p.m. Thursday, March 23rd, 2017. Representative Pepin moves that when we, the House adjourns today, it adjourns until 3.30 Thursday, March 23rd. All those in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, no. The motion prevails. Representative Pepin. I move that the House do now adjourn. Representative Pepin moves that the House do now adjourn. All those in favor say aye. aye. All the polls no. Motion prevails and the House stands adjourned until Thursday, March 23rd, 2017, 3.30 p.m.